Hi everyone, this is Dan Gross for News 8 and RochesterFirst.com. Welcome to What's Good, the place where we share the good news in and around Rochester over the past seven days. Let's cue the jam. Let's start off today by celebrating students. The winners of the David Hochstein Recital Competition have been announced. That's Michael Ortiz clarinet, Elizabeth Norris cello, and Maxwell Sun piano. All these talented cats will get to perform a free concert for the public this week. I thought we wrote a lot in news, but this is something else. Silas Drogan, a son of Rochester staple drummer Sean Drogan, by the way, has written approximately 1,002 books. That's in Silas's own words. The works include fiction and nonfiction. He writes, draws, and binds them all himself. And important to note, his love of writing started with a love of reading. At a press conference in Rochester on Tuesday, local leaders announced eight new events coming to downtown Rochester. The series is called Downtown Definitely Events. These events are set to begin in June and will last until December. And they include an RPO concert, a window shopping experience, a lantern release, and more. In the final jazz concert of Eastman School of Music's centennial season, one of the pieces featured a local poet, Rena Golden, who worked with bassist, composer, and arranger John Clayton. For some context, this cat arranged Whitney Houston's Star Spangled Banner, so he's got some chops. Clayton's newly commissioned piece was called Keys Are Black, Blacks Are Keys. We'll have more of this concert coming up later in the show. Millions of Muslims around the world celebrated Eid al-Fitr, including thousands in Rochester, who were able to celebrate the end of Ramadan together in the Dome Arena for the first time in years. Eid is traditionally celebrated with family and friends, along with special gifts, and of course, breaking the Ramadan fast. Two RIT NTID students were honored with the top prize for a national filmmaking competition, sponsored by Coca-Cola. Producer Gabriel Ponte Fleury and director Anna McClanahan accepted the reward, representing a team of 50 people. They won the top prize after an initial entrant pool of 500 entries. Guys, great job. Rochester and nationally recognized artist Laura Wilder wanted to give back to the people of Ukraine. So she and her husband, Bob, have been creating thousands of these sunflower prints. Now, only six days after they started, that's when we caught up with them, the pair had already raised over $12,800. Guys, keep it up. A beloved Rochester icon returns, as Monroe County announced an estimated $3 million for the resurrection of Highland Park's pavilion. Originally, it was demolished in 1963, Back then, it was known as the Children's Pavilion. Community fundraising was a big part of the effort, and conservancy efforts raised $1.3 million over 20 years. What else is good? A cold bath for charity is good. Neil Bryson, Bath Central School Music Director, took a freezing jump in Lake Salubria to help raise money for Steuben County's youth activities. Official, officials say, rather, that thanks to Bryson, they have raised well over $26,000. What else is good? Dare I say, more beer is good. A spin-off of one of Rochester's favorite beers has now hit the shelves. It's called the Tropical Pineapple Kolsch. The Genesee Brewery says that Captain Kolsch has swapped out his seafaring uniform for a Hawaiian shirt. Kind of fashion sense I can get behind. The beer has the same German Kolsch base as the Ruby Red, but instead features pineapple. And the brewery adds that the beer is bright and refreshing while balancing hops, fruit, and a malt body. And uh, based off of the advanced uh, beer that I got, I can agree with that assessment. What else is good? A new addition to the zoo is good. A Maasai giraffe calf, ooh, that's a tongue twister. A Maasai giraffe calf born at the Seneca Park Zoo Friday is a male, and he's doing quite well. The giraffe's birth was a first for the Seneca Park Zoo. The mother giraffe, Iggy, has been at the zoo since 2018, and she originally came from the Virginia Zoo. The kid's father, Parker, also lives at the zoo, so he gets two lovely parents. And before we wrap up, A Happy Trails is in order. Bill Dobbins, who spent 41 years at the Eastman School of Music, is retiring. I could go on a long list of all of Bill's accomplishments. Suffice it to say, one of the best in the world of composing, arranging, playing jazz piano. But most importantly, his legacy has been cemented by working with students, molding the young minds, uplifting them, and presenting them with incredible jazz, both past, present, and future dare I say. Bill, your mark is left forever. 
A lot of us have great memories of the iconic leather jacket and knit sweater, but don't worry, your legacy extends far beyond that. Bill, from all of us in the jazz community, happy retirement. And might I add, I'm also a fan of celebrating people while they're still at their gig. So here's to Bob Snyder celebrating 25 years at the Eastman Community Music School. Bob, you're a gem. Talk to you soon. What else is good? Your good news. Whatever it is, if it puts a smile on your face, the team and I would love to hear from you. You can drop me a line personally. It should be on screen right about now. That's dgross at wrocTV.com. And please pass along any photos or video you might have as well. Well, I think that just about does it for this week's What's Good. My name is Dan Gross. Thank you so much for your time, ear, and of course your company as well, and your eyes. You're watching this, not just listening to this. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Really appreciate it. We'll see you next Wednesday.